We're learning more about the process to identify the remains of more than a dozen people found 26 years ago on the former property of a notorious serial killer. Investigators believe Herbert Baumeister killed at least 25 people. Police have said he lured gay men to his home in the 90s at Fox Hollow Farms in Westfield and then killed them. But over 26 years, only eight of the victims have been identified. That leaves 17 whose identities have yet to be determined. And WRTV's Adam Schumes finds out how investigators will go about trying to figure out who those victims are. These are someone's brother, someone's son, someone's father. These are people that for 26 years were placed on the shelf. Hamilton County Coroner's Office is working to identify the remains of more than a dozen people found on the former property of notorious serial killer Herbert Baumeister. Police believe he killed these men from the mid-80s to the mid-90s at his home. He died by suicide shortly after police began their investigation. He was never arrested and tried. Jeff Jellison, the Hamilton County Coroner elect, said 11 DNA samples were found from remains in 1996, and of those, eight were identified. Investigators believe the bones belong to an estimated 25 people. The bones have remained in storage at the University of Indianapolis since being found. Jellison hopes new technology can help them identify more victims. So I think a big challenge that we're going to face is being able to have those comparison family reference samples. Dr. Krista Latham, director of the Human Identification Center at the University of Indianapolis, says she can't comment on the case itself, but says the lab has worked to help with the recovery of the remains from the Baumeister's property. So not only do we have these very powerful databases that allow for those comparisons that we wouldn't have had back in the early 90s, but we're also able to generate DNA profiles that would not have been candidates for DNA analysis in the late 90s. She says now is a great time to revisit the case with the help of the coroner's office and additional resources. We've had advances in DNA technology that will allow us to obtain DNA samples from uh, more challenging um, human remains cases. That's our primary objective in this is to be able to provide closure for these families. Working for you, Adam Shumes, WRTV. Anyone who believes they are a relative of a missing person connected to the case should contact the Hamilton County Coroner's Office. That phone number 317-770-4415.